Hi there, you're watching Gardens and Graveyards. My name is Charisma and today we are in the garden and we're gonna plant some things. So I have a bench full of plants again. <laughs> and this is like our drop off spot, right? And uh, it's the end of the summer season. So that means discounts. And <laughs> everywhere I go, I pick up a plant or two. So I wanna encourage you to stop everywhere and look for plants because they're on sale right now um so five of these plants came from my grocery store okay so you never know where you're gonna find your fine plants one thing i will say is if you want to pick up an annual that's on sale make sure it's an annual that you know works really really good in your in your garden and that you have enough time for it to rejuvenate and do something in your garden otherwise you're just gonna waste money and time um, on annuals at the end of the season but they are on sale right now so if you know that you have a spot that if you were to cut back some annuals they'd explode again go ahead and buy some annuals uh, but more importantly find your evergreens and your perennials because they might look a little sad right now but come next year you're gonna be so glad that you picked up a hibiscus that's going to get four foot by four foot wide, four foot tall by four foot wide for $6.99, right? So, and it's gonna bloom for me this year, just little tinies, but more, you know, it, it wants to go in the ground. It's just been in its pot for too long in the nursery. And if you don't get around to getting it in the ground, as long as you baby it, you might get to leave it in the pot for a year. <laughs> this was on sale last autumn <laughs> <laughs> and we picked it up and we had it in, in the group of plants to plant. And then we planted everything except for this because we didn't know where it was going to go. So then we put it over by our water spigot so we wouldn't forget to water it. And we managed to forget to water it anyways, multiple times, completely fried the thing, soaked it in water, it came back, did it again, <laughs> and now it's looking good again, but you can see where all of its little fried tips are. <laughs> Poor thing, it's gotta get in the ground. It's a hard plant to choose where to go in the ground because it gets four by four, and it's got tons of spines. So you don't want it in a walkway and it grows all like super wild. So it's really hard to like manage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is the orange rocket barberry. We have three other barberries around the property, different colors. This one I really love because it has all these different colorations in it. And then in the fall, it gets really orange, really great for fall color. Um, so anyways, just a bunch of little plants to plant. There's a few plants on this bench that will not get planted today. They're gonna be in another project um, later in like a week or so. So let's just, let's get, in, get into it. <laughs> That is so sucks. Damn dog. No, that's you.
This area is a constant battle because there's this old plastic throughout this whole area that we're, we cut out and then like this is the circle that we want for our plant, but then we have to cut a little bit more so that water will get to the plant. And then it's almost pure gravel in there. So it's just a bunch of big chunks like this. Just a pain. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of potting soil in there just to give it a little extra nutrition. And then plant tone. It was just a slow release fertilizer to help the roots get going. Be careful with these because they're very pokey. It's not as root bound as you might think for being in the pot for a year. No kidding, I thought it would be years, way worse. Long at the nurse. Ow. <laughs> I should be wearing my rose gloves. Ow, ow, ow. Your crazy husband keeps picking all these uh, pokey bushes. I love these. I love these barberries. I might need more soil. <laughs> the foliage on these plants is so cool. I love the way they look. I forgot to record it, but I did trim off all those little burnt tips just for the health of the plant. To the next one. Me rooting in the ground. <laughs> it's been there a while, so <laughs> rooting in. Normally I just take it out. We're gonna eat your plastic. I'm worried about breaking it. Yeah. Hey. There it be for now. All right, we're gonna plant the hibiscus right here. It might seem like a crazy idea because it's right up against this rose shrub and it'll get a little bit shaded this summer. Um, but the sun is actually this direction. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, and this fall, this shrub, this rose is going to get cut all the way down and moved to a different location. But while we're here, you have to see these rose hips. This is why I grow this. They are huge. That's not even a big one. Mm, this one's this one's lot definitely lot. bigger. Look at this. It's They're a nice loaded. size. It's loaded too. It's yeah, loaded. it's loaded. They're everywhere. There's like doubled up. They're like little cherry tomatoes almost. But that's why that's why I have them. And but they're way too big for this walk area. You could see they're just crowding. So they're gonna get taken out of here and put somewhere else that's more appropriate for them. In the meantime, we're gonna plant this hibiscus because it will fill this spot in next year. And I'm actually gonna plant a different hibiscus over there um, when I find the one I want. So, yeah. Cool.
Okay, good luck. Okay, so we're in the medicine garden. This rose campium is volunteer. All these little babies are volunteer. I'm going to be dividing them and putting them in pots um, probably this weekend. But for right now, this echinacea is gonna go right here on the border of this raised bed. So we're gonna do that. Just get her in the ground. I am not putting fertilizer in there. Echinacea doesn't really love fertilizer. And yeah, and this bed is mostly compost, so trying to do this one-handed so probably looks ridiculous it's definitely root bound she's gonna be very happy to be out of her pot okay just gonna take these yellow leaves off I could actually take off even these bigger leaves and just leave the little ones but I think we're okay Okay, there she is. And you can see back here, there's a little bit of um, creeping thyme and clover, which I don't want. But <laughs> there's creeping thyme and it came from down here. And if it ends up other places, I don't mind. It smells good, it doesn't bother anyone. Well, we're down here, I'll just show off this little corner. It's so full of color right now, it's really fun. Feels very summery. Nasturtiums, rose campium. We have verbena. Of course, the pots are up there. The yarrow is getting overtaken by nasturtium. Got some orange crocosmia there. More rose campium. It's just kind of a fun bright colorful corner. We keep getting distracted by weeds. <sighs> All right, the last thing that we have to do is this box. All of these things are going to go in the same place with rose tone. So, ah, let's just go get that done. Actually going to put it in that pot right there. It had poppy seeds, poppy seeds, bread seed poppies in it and that I just cut down. You see there's still a couple of seed heads left in here um yeah anyway so we're gonna get these in here these are gerber daisies i have no idea what color they are they're just gonna be the centerpiece together sometimes these will winter over in my garden and sometimes they won't they're a little tender and then we've got three roses little miniature roses. And we're just gonna put in just like that. All right, so got rose tone for the roses. Just gonna mix it in there a little bit. Look, it's, it says it's yellow. Huh. This, one, this one says it's yellow too. Oh good, cool. they match. These are the only two there there were, so just All picked right. them up. Where are they again? Huh? 
Whatever. These are Gerber daisies. They. Oh yeah. They look like lettuce. Hmm? <laughs> they look like lettuce. They look like lettuce. Okay. <laughs> They're not. Oh, oh, Don't yeah. eat it. <laughs> Don't want to eat those. <laughs> do you still have pruners on you? I do. These ones, well, clearly are a blush pink. I'm just going to take off the little heads. Damaged. Looks a little bit old. They actually look know? better than they did when I brought them home a few days ago. <laughs> they do. Maybe they, they just needed water. They're very bad. They're very... They smell. They have smell. I don't know. All I can smell is fertilizer right now. <laughs> Bigfoot. I'm hoping that's a cat and not a bear. It's just a loud crash over there. Pretty sure the bear is not going to be hanging out in the middle of the day. That'd be good footage, Joe. This soil definitely needs water. Good soaking. Oh, the dino I hadn't watered it. Because the poppies, poppies have been done for so long, I haven't been watering it. Because huh. the poppies have been done for so yeah. long, we haven't been watering it. See, I wonder what causes that. Like, too much fertilizer or something in the grocery store? I don't know. Good. Yes. Could be the incandescent lights it was under too. Yeah, right. Is it in the floral department? Oh, really? Not the uh, outside. Uh, gotcha. Give hey. us a good long drink. Hmm? We'll give this pot a good long drink, you know. Yeah, for sure. Fun! Well, that project took twice as long as I thought it was going to between getting distracted by weeds and forgetting things and just all the things. Um, anyway, it's done. And I'm gonna turn this camera around and show you what we got done. All right, so we planted this barberry right here in the front of the garden. And we have another one down there. You see the like red coloring so it kind of flanks this section and then we planted the hibiscus back there and over here by that other barberry that's doing really well it looks really pretty it likes the soil that we planted it in this ground is just all gravel and Oh, it's such a pain, but it really likes it. It's like, like how beautiful that thing is. I love all the splotchy colors on it. And it looks really good with the rose campion, which is self-seated itself all the way around it. Like it's, I don't know, it's like its own little throne of rose campion. Now we've potted up this pot with three miniature roses and two Gerber daisies, which I think is going to be really sweet. The roses are all like this blush color pink, and then the Gerber daisies are yellow, so that's a really fun combo. Don't mind the crazy iris bed that 
is totally done. Needs to be cleaned up. But look at this dahlia. It's so beautiful. It's like... <laughs> it's like the size of a wiffle ball. <laughs> All the green that you see in with the dead iris stalks, the green are actually all gladiolas. They're just not blooming. Maybe, maybe they will. There's a few down there. I don't know. <laughs> all right. I'm not going to walk down to the medicine garden you saw where I planted the echinacea. Uh, I think we're going to call it a day. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us while we garden today. We hope to see you in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe and um, have a blessed day. Keep celebrating life. Bye.